I'm Dave with Gentleman Roaster Birmingham. We're cutting Sam's hair and beard today. Right, so we're just finding where the O-bone is. I've just combed the hair through. I'm gonna drop a number two, because the hair's a little bit longer, I'm gonna put a number two guard on first. And we're gonna be putting in a section that's gonna start the fade. So we're gonna remove some bulk first. It's got very thick hair, I can hear the clipper working over time to cut it. <laughs> Okay, so we're just putting in that too. Nice and even. Okay, so we put the two in, we're finding the O-bone, and I'm gonna put my zero line in now, down to skin on the sides, yeah? Okay. So I've switched back to Magic Clips. We've put a nice smile shape in the back there. And now we're working from the hook over to the back. A little bit of an arch. Both sides make them nice and even. The height's perfect on either side. We're going to remove the bulk now. So we're going to do this with a detailer. Some detailers would struggle on that length of hair, but this one seems to plow through it quite well. So this is basically like a balding clipper for me. I don't have to use a balding clipper, I can use this, it takes it low enough. We're flicking out slightly towards the top. Okay, so we're still just removing the bulk. Trying to get a nice parallel section. Okay, so we're going to put a four line in now. I'm going to run a nice line on the edges. So switch the Andes round now, we're going to use both blades. We're flicking out. We're just removing the bulk before we flick out the line. Okay, so we're going to remove the line between the foil and the detailer. We're going to use just the detailer to do that to start with. I think it will be enough. So it's, the hair's a little bit thicker on the back, so you're definitely going to need to use the foil to remove that line. Okay, so we're using the top blade on the Andis, and we're just coming down. And we're just hitting that line. Okay, so at this point, I can see... I can see that I need to make a bigger two section. Cheers, Brandon. So we're just dropping that two section in. There's a lot of weight in the top of this fade. We're going to blend that in with scissors. On that one, the security code is not in the back. It's the, the four digit one. Okay, we've got the two in now. We're going to switch to the magic clips. And we're going to be fully open, so it's in the 0.5. Put my car back in my wallet, my wallet back in my back, please, mate. So I don't leave it behind. So I want to Just taking out a nice little section there that we can blend into. Okay, so we're going to drop down to a point two five now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the worst video. This is going to be a really uh, poor video, mate. And you drove all the way from Bournemouth for it, well done. It's not, mate. It's going to be the best. So now we're going to move on to a number one guard and we're going to work downwards with it. We've got a number one guard and we're going to put it into a open position so it's a one and a half and we're going to be removing the bulk above the 0.5. So we start just below the two. With these you can flick out, which does make it a lot easier. The whole grips like ergonomically designed to flick out. What are you laughing at? What's he doing now? Now we're going to drop that to a one. Okay, we've got a 0.5 guard and it's in a 
half closed position, so it's a 0.75. Now we're just going to remove the last bit of bulk on that weight line. So it's looking good on the sides, the hair's a little bit thinner through there, I think. So it's blended in nicely there with a the 0.75, but on the back, I might have to drop down to a 0 0.5, I think. Just through this section here. So we're going to close it completely to a 0 0.5. We'll start working that line out. Last bit of weight. Now down to a 0.25. Just a corner of the clipper on any bit of weight. Okay, so I've got a bit of weight here, look. There's something going on here. I'm going to have to pick that out, I think. It's blended lovely on that side. It's just not too nice there. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to use the corner of the clipper and we're going to run into it. Just break it up. Now, because we've gone a little bit higher with that, we're going to have to make that match. So we're going to go a little bit higher up into the blend. Just at the back, sides are blended lovely. more just around that area. Another technique for breaking up a line is if you use your scissors. Just work across the line. Slowly break that up. Different colours through this hair and they can create problems. You've got to tackle each problem as you come as it comes. Okay, we can come back to that at some point uh, when we've cut the top and see how it's looking. So we're going to wet the hair now. Okay, so we're going to comb that forward. It's going to be a crop style, so it's going to have a blunt fringe. So at the back here, <clears throat> I'm going to level that up and take about that much off. can alter that at another point. I don't want it to sit higher at the back than it is at the front. I kind of want it to be so you don't see the back here and it comes up and over. That way it'll have a nicer shape and nicer structure. So we're going to cut this, although it's going to be textured, because the hair is quite fine. I'm going to club cut it and then I'm going to texture it after. Just because I want it to be nice and even. We comb down now, we want the fringe to be nice and solid. We won't go any further on that front bit. So through here, it's slightly thin through the recession area. We're putting a blunter fringe on that will make that appear a lot thicker, especially when it's dry. So just gonna comb that all down now, we're gonna cut sides, and then we're gonna blend them to the top. So we're gonna take diagonal sections Palm to face. I've done the same haircut like three times today, it feels like. Yeah, very similar, yes. What? Yeah. What? Any videos you've done today? Say again, dude. Any videos you've done? Uh, we've done three. This is the third this one? Is the third one. Third one, yeah. Okay, so we're working around there. We're going to keep the crown nice and flat to the head. And we're going to be pulling sections that are parallel. And we're going to be taking off that bit of bulk there. Okay, so we're just drying the hair. Just nice finger dry. Okay, so we're going to cut this fringe. I'm going to spin you that way, bro. We've got the fringe comb forward. It's nice and dry, so we know the true length of it. And we're looking for that textured fringe, but we're going to blunt it up a little bit so that it kind of gives a thicker appearance through here. So we're going to start on one, one side, pick a length. 
If you keep the blade nice and flat to the head, you have more control over it. And then you come from the other side. Instantly makes that look thicker. I think it's because it thins out towards the edges so much. When you take it a bit shorter, it looks nice and thick, nice and full. After you've cut that first line into the fringe, you can go through and texture the fringe up. Take out any stray hairs that you've missed. Just tidy it up. If you cut straight with a point cut, your food's here. It'll always be a little bit thicker through the middle. So just try and make that nice and pointy. You don't want a flat, flat line through it. Okay, now we're going to blend out the sides with scissor over comb. And we're moving on to the uh, beard. Okay, so we've got seven inches there. Anything that falls into the comb is going to be gone. Every day I spend my time. It's important through these bits here. You don't want to leave too much weight there. Okay, so both sides are blending nice. We're looking at that mirror, we've got a nice shape here. Now we're going to take out this back section. When we said we can revisit this bit, I've just gone back to a 1.75 to and I'm just going to take that little bit of weight out. It's just a really thin line there. That feels like it's got it. Okay, Koki. So last bit on top, a little bit of texture. I'm just going to take through and slice it, removing the blade. This way, I'm going to use the top blade, do the same thing. Just gives it that nice little bit of texture, it sets it apart from a nice flat cut makes it completely different. If that was all forward and there's no texture in it, it would just be lying in one length all the way, all the way over. <clears throat> okay, cool. How's that feeling, bro? Yeah? Okay, so we're going to move on to the beard now. What are you doing with the beard? Stubble. Great all over, man. It's going to be a bit of a transformation, that is. Just drop your head back there for me. That's great. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got Madge Clips with a, a number three guard on. Uh, he's looking for a kind of a tidier, tidier beard. So I'm going to go for three and a half to start with. And then with a nice line up, this will look really sharp. So just trying to feed the clipper really. We're going against the grain so that the clipper picks up the hair, feeds it into the clipper blades and then it cuts it. Uh, if you're going with the grain you just won't get the same result. I think we cut, we cut a nice solid line on, underneath and we go for that short kind of executive beard. Okay, so we're going to have to cut that in now. We're going to use the wild detailer. You just hold that there for me, bro. So I'm going to go straight underneath. I'll find the Adam's apple just there. So I'm going to go just above that. I might taper down at the edges.
this one like chicken. Chicken! I'm just trying to approach as soft as possible, really. Uh, pulling the skin tight where I can. Just to stop any irritation. And now we're going to cross-reference that line. So when you put in lines in the beard, if you look straight on here, straight on in the mirror, you'll be able to see what needs lifting up. So if you just straighten your body up for me, dude, that's it, that's lovely. Perfect. Right, so I've got a little spot there. So I'm going to put my finger on it. As I come round, I can then hit it. And if you want to get that really crisp underneath, we're going to go for... Uh, and his foils, and we're just going to mark out that line just a little bit smoother. Up now, so we're going to taper through the edge here, we're going to tidy up around scissors, scissors around the edge, and then we'll sort the moustache out. So we've got a number one guard, it's going to be in a one and a half position, so we're going to be flicking out. I'm going to spin you that way a sec. There we go, get you a bit of an angle on that. So flicking out into the top of the beard. We're going to drop it down, notch by notch. Start a little bit higher. Another notch, start a little bit higher. Another notch, start a little bit higher. And then you're going to take the guard off. And you're going to run from a no guard, so it's a 0.5. If you angle the blade up, it will equal a 1. And as you come down, you can hit the top. Then you're going to drop it down again. Then we're going to spin this. Okay, hold that there for me. Right, it's looking nice and tidy. We're going to move through to the moustache now. On the top. Dude, can you grab me a hot towel quickly? We're just going to be dropping down. Nice and natural. Okay, now we're just going to clean up the scissors. So I'm going to work my way along the line so that the line's not really thick. Okay, now we're going to run freehand, just move on one blade, just tidy up whatever's loose. So we're just going to drop a hot towel on now. A bit of bay rum, just to give it a nice scent. Okay, we're going to create a little pocket, pocket there. That's it, and then we're just going to apply some pressure, make sure it fits to the skin, gets into all the bumps and crevices. And that heat's going to make the hair nice and supple. <clears throat> okay, that's done what we wanted to do now, so we're going to whip that off. Did you pop that in there? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to work. Just down the lines, we use the heel of the blade now to come around. Because it's light hair, you won't get that definition in the line if you use a lubricant, I find anyway. Um, I think it's always better to go dry, if, if the hair's not too coarse. Okay, just gonna clean his neck up and I'm gonna style it. <coughs> just took down for you, dude. How's that feeling, man? 
Good one. Nice and fresh. Yeah, okay, cool. So again, a little bit of bay rum on the neck. And then we're gonna just drop a little bit of styling powder in the top. Just made that look nice and thick on the fringe. Okay, dude. Sweet. 